The Welsh family was one of the first to appear at the concert. Those present shouted at them, Kate, we love you, and Prince William, we love you. The British continue to show such love, despite the revelations of Prince Harry and Meghan in the new episodes of the Netflix film that the family did not want to let them go before they met it. In the new series, the Sussex couple said that Prince William raised his voice at his brother, and Elizabeth I silently watched what was happening. The Welsh appeared at the service without four-year-old Louis, apparently, he is still too young for official events. Prince William with Kate and children George and Charlotte dressed in the same color scheme. Father and son were dressed in dark blue suits, but William was wearing a cherry tie, George was wearing a blue one. Catherine and her daughter Charlotte appeared in shades of Bordeaux. The royal family projected a bonding and unity as they gathered at Westminster Abbey last night for the Princess of Wales carol service after Harry and Meghan's latest slew of attacks. Poignantly, William read a passage from the late Queen's 2012 Christmas message in which Her Late Majesty said she was always struck by the spirit of togetherness at Christmas. It was a time, she had added, when we remember that God sent his only son to serve, not to be served. Buckingham Palace and Kensington Palace have said they will not comment on Harry and Meghan's claims with the king said to be determined never to watch the six-part series. A royal source told the Daily Mirror, if some astonishing claims have been made but the family are determined to stick together and maintain a dignified silence. They will not be dragged into a tit for tat row. E. While the palaces have refused to comment on the claims, sources have made clear that there is immense sadness and frustration about the Sussexes' decision to yet again air family problems in public. There was no suggestion that William intended the striking message to be contrasted with the example of his own brother, who turned on his family in yesterday's Netflix series. Indeed it was planned long before the documentary. But it will have resonated with many of the guests gathered in the Abbey for the concert, staged to recognize the selfless efforts of individuals, families and communities across the Alp, and celebrate and showcase the joy that human connection and togetherness can bring. Kensington Palace said the Together at Christmas Carol service, the second concert Kate has hosted, was dedicated to the late Queen and the values she demonstrated throughout her life, including a duty, empathy, faith, service, kindness, compassion and support for others. The palace said these principles were assured and personified by the inspirational guests who have been invited to the Abbey in recognition of their tireless work to help and care for those around them. A Christmas tree was decorated with small Paddington Bear decorations, a nod to the late Queen's famous comedy sketch, while guests were greeted with atmospheric snowflakes from a snow machine as they arrived at the entrance. Kate met and thanked those taking part in the service, including Paddington star Hugh Bonneville and singer Melanie C.